Here are six tips for flying the new Fortnite plane. Presented by Fortnite Master. This week's guide is dedicated to the new X4 Stormwing airplanes. We'll go over the basic mechanics, then move into some cool tricks and more advanced tips to help you win dogfights. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The new planes are super easy to fly, but there are some controls that you should know about that can help you navigate the skies faster and safer. First, using roll left and roll right will make your turns much faster than using your movement keys. For anything more than a 90 degree turn, you should be using one of these two buttons. You can also double tap either one of these two buttons to do a barrel roll in that direction, which can make it much harder for players to hit you while in the plane. There is also an option to roll invert, which basically just turns your plane upside down. There is something kind of cool that you can do with this button, however. If you end up flying upside down somehow, the roll invert button is a quick and easy way to flip right side up. The air, brake, and boost controls are pretty self-explanatory. The only thing to note is that boosting destroys builds, and your plane takes 50% less impact damage when boosting. Switching seats in airplanes, however, can get annoying because there is a specific order in which you have to switch seats. The order for switching seats goes clockwise, but what you really need to know is that the front left passenger seat is the spot immediately before the driver's seat. Just note that you can switch to a specific seat. You just have to click the button multiple times quickly until it displays the seat you want. Another cool button that not a lot of people use is free look. This is really useful for scanning the sky and the ground on either side of you without having to turn the whole plane. It's also important to remember that players in planes will now take 50 damage directly to their health if the plane is destroyed. So if somebody is shooting you down, jump out before they completely destroy your plane. And if you prefer inverted controls, that's an option too. Just head into the settings menu under the second tab and there are two options for inverted aircraft controls. It's not often that you need to put your plane in reverse, but there are a couple of things you should know about it. The first is that you need to come to a complete stop before you can back up your plane, which also means it's only possible when you're grounded. If you need to reverse to reposition before taking off, it should be the first thing you do, because once you start the engine, you'll need to fully brake again before having the option to reverse. The second thing to know is that you can reverse up any incline in these planes, even a mountain. And while it may not be practical to reverse up a mountain in a real game, the ability to reverse up any incline can come in handy. For example, repositioning and backing out of places so you can fly again. This next tip is one of the best ways to counter aggressive planes from the ground or the sky. Hijacking is basically just jumping on an enemy's plane, shooting the pilot or forcing them to bail. When you're on the ground and a plane is driving towards you, it is possible to board the plane with a well-timed jump. Just make sure you're spamming your interact button. Then, you can just take out a gun and shoot the pilot. This is easily one of the best ways to counter over-aggressive planes, and should always be on your mind as an option when you see a plane about to crash into you or your builds. Taking it to the next level! <laughs> it is possible to hijack planes in the sky too. Granted, this is a little more difficult, but it's also more satisfying when you get it right. This requires you to be gliding down from a good height, so it's only really viable after taking a rift or jumping out of your own plane. Mid-air hijacking is one of the quickest ways to end a dogfight, because when you land on the enemy's plane, they have very limited options. If they're smart, they will change seats to shoot back at you. Otherwise, their only options are to jump out or be eliminated. The plane's built-in gun is good for some situations, but many times your best bet will be changing seats so you can take shots with your assault rifle or sniper. You can be much more accurate with normal guns, and you won't need to change directions with the plane to shoot enemies below or behind you. This affords you options like coasting over players and raining down bullets from above. Or let's say another plane is on your tail. Instead of trying to pull off some crazy air maneuver to get behind them, just hop in the passenger seat, turn around, and spray them with an AR. There are a lot of ways to use this technique, so keep it in mind as an option at all times. One undeniable fact about these new planes is that they're hard to ignore, especially when one is gunning right for you. It is really easy to take advantage of this fact and use planes as a distraction. In duels or squads, an effective strategy is to have one player stay in the plane to fly around and harass the enemy, while the other teammate jumps out to take free shots on the distracted team. This puts a lot of pressure from multiple angles, putting your team in control of the fight. The player who jumps out needs to make sure that they don't get over aggressive. We recommend taking shots from a relatively safe distance while the plane makes its rounds, then pushing in when the enemies are weak. 
Dogfights, aka plane fights, are the first real showing of aerial combat we've seen in Fortnite, and they are a ton of fun. Here are some tips that will help you come out victorious. The air brake is a huge part of controlling your movement and repositioning midair. You can use the air brake to essentially stall your plane in the sky, allowing you to track the enemy or take a different angle to the fight. If a plane is right on your tail, you can use the air brake to slow down and trick them into passing you, giving you the advantageous position. It is one of the best tools in your kit, so make sure you play around with it. The plane's guns take some finesse to master too. It's important to note that these gun turrets are not hitscan, they are physical projectiles, so you'll need to slightly lead your shots if shooting from a decent distance. The bullets on these guns also have a max range of 250 meters, so although you might be able to see another plane at 300 meters away, you won't be able to hit them. The plane's guns can be hard to aim too, especially when going for smaller adjustments. We recommend making these small aiming adjustments with your mouse, as it is much easier than using your movement keys. For controllers, use whatever joystick you are more comfortable aiming with. Finally, don't limit yourself to using the plane's turrets in dogfights. Shooting your turret until it burns out, then hopping onto a wing and emptying out an AR clip can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Not to mention, you can aim anywhere while sitting on the wing, not just the direction you're facing. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, then don't forget to hit like and the subscribe button. If you want notifications every time we upload a new video, then hit the bell. Finally, if you really enjoy our videos, then share them to your Discord and on Reddit. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.